What's up guys, if you're somebody that does not own a Nexus device and you are in love with Android's new L material design, because you know, Hollow YOLO is old school now, I have some good news for you. Now there are some prerequisites, you will need a custom ROM that supports Cyanogen Mod's new theme engine. I'm gonna show you this new theme that will give you that Android L material design without actually running the latest developer version or preview of L. Without further ado, let's get started. So as I stated at the beginning of the video, you will need a ROM that supports the latest CM11 theme engine. Now I am running the OnePlus One, which comes with CyanogenMod. Mod. So if you happen to have this phone, you really don't have to do anything. It actually just works without any problems. So let's get started. First thing you'll need to do is download the CM11 material theme. Now th this theme does cost money, but it's well worth it in my opinion. And I will leave all the links down below, so do not worry if you see something that you like, I'll make sure to include it in the description. So first thing you wanna do is download this theme. Once you do that, obviously you can see I have already applied it. Jump into your settings, hop on over to themes, and then you wanna go into theme packs. Now, one of the nice things about the new CM11 theme engine is that there's so much that you can do. It's really nice. Almost wish that Android in itself would sort of come with this by default. It, uh, it's just really, really beautiful. Hexo it is a default theme. Once you download it, go ahead and try or find the material L. Go ahead and push on that. Now, mine says update, <clears throat> excuse me, because I've already applied the theme. Now, if I wanted to update it, let's say there's a new download for whatever reason, I just hit update. I went ahead and currently, this is a new theme, so the developer is constantly improving it and adding more things. Hopefully he adds the boot animation soon, but you can see there's like ringtones, notifications, alarms. So, so far you can hit or check mark style wallpapers, lock wallpapers and icons. Now I'm using different icons even though it's check marked, but go ahead and hit on apply, even though again, mine says update and that's it. It should automatically, automatically apply everything. Now for my icons, I am using what's called Flatastico. So I believe that Flatastico gives it more of that Android L, hence the name flat, everything's a lot flatter. So I like these icons, so again, if you wanna see, or if you wanna download those, description will be down below. So that's basically it. When you go to the home screen, it's not going to look like this, with the exception of the wallpaper. This is my theme that I've kind of put together using third-party widgets and, and just kind of changing things around. So if you guys like the way this looks, Zuper widget on top. I'll, I'll put the link down below where you can download the theme to be able to do this. Now I did make some modifications as you can see to match the colors and I had to move a couple things around because I am using the Google Now launcher. So I like this launcher better because it, to me it's obviously part of Google and I really like it. But most importantly, the way things work. So I had to move a couple things. So unfortunately, because this is a paid widget, or this theme part, or this theme is paid, I don't wanna give away the uh, files because that would be unfair to the developer who spent a lot of time making it look like this. But in case yours is not lining up, I'm just letting you know I kinda move things around. So this is a Zuper widget. This is, I believe, called Today Now, or something like that. I'll leave those, those links down below. So this is where you can see all of your calendar events. And I like that because to me, the home page is, you know, when you unlock the phone, I like to be able to see dead center, what time, how much battery life I have, which I've just dis disabled it from here, what time uh, it is in case I need to look at the clock, the time of day, uh, month, in case I forget. <laughs> and of course, everything that's happening in my calendar. Um, over here, and I'm not gonna go through the whole theme because this is just, I'm still working on it, just what I have right now. Um, I wanna make it more like Android L, more of that material design. So let's go ahead and look at that keyboard because the keyboard is also themed. So that has that Android L material. So you don't have to download a third party because I know there's a couple of uh, third party material L or, or excuse me, Android L uh, design. So this is really, really nice. Go ahead and show you there the different colors that you can see, oops. 
Patreon giveaway. He did a giveaway today. Okay, let's go ahead and show you that uh, notification. Take my vitamins. So I left that on there on purpose so you guys can see how it looks. Really, really beautiful. It has that nice matching design. Jump on here into brightness. So you can see everything is just really, really nice. Uh, one thing, this was just updated a couple of hours ago, which wasn't there before, is the dialer. Now, it looks a little funny right now. I'm not sure if I didn't apply the theme correctly or, I mean, I uninstalled and I did all this stuff, but it, the colors don't really match. And when you push on that dialer, you don't even see the, uh, you don't see any of the buttons or excuse me, the numbers. So this could be a bug, which I'm sure will get fixed, but I'm just letting you know, FYI, I'm not knocking the developer, but I'm letting you know in case you do download it today, uh, hopefully it gets fixed soon. But yeah, this is kind of an issue, but I just want to let you know that he went as far as even theming the dialer, and which I'm sure will get fixed. Now down here, you'll notice the soft keys are very similar to Android L, but not quite. I actually like these better. I like the fact that, for example, oops, when you, let's say I'm going to type something. I mean, that this is normal, it switches, but I like that. I don't know if you guys can see, there's a small little slit there on each of them where the Android L is completely closed. These are also a little bit more sharper where the Android L are a little bit more fatter. <clears throat> so I like these a lot better. To me, this kind of shows you the, you know, like for example, on the uh, triangle, it really emphasizes that, you know, this is left. And then, you know, when I pop that keyboard, this is going down, you know, to reveal something. So for what it's worth, these, this soft key style is my favorite. So anyhow, guys, let me know what you think of this theme. I think the developer did a really great job. So if you're kind of yearning to get that Android L, but you don't have a, a Nexus phone and you really want to get it on your phone, like, for example, on my OnePlus One here, uh, it really helps. And let me know if you could want me to continue theming my phone and uh, showing you guys what I have come up with. Again, this is a very preliminary. This, this isn't even, this is not really what I want I have in mind. This one is here on the home page, but the other ones I'm still working on. Um, and as I said, I like using the Google Now Launcher because I can say, OK, Google, and have access to that. So let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. So I wanted to take a moment to thank all the patrons that made this video possible. If you want to learn more on how to become a patron and have access to exclusive content and giveaways, link will be down below. Until next time. Adiós.